Law enforcement in Hampton Roads say they're seeing a concerning rise in cars being shot at on the interstate. The numbers are high there, but the Richmond region's not immune to this type of violence either. Our Jake Burns joins us here in the studio to break down what is a very alarming trend. Jake? Yeah, Bill, on the same day police in Hampton Roads put out a statement about 18 interstate shootings there so far this year. We had one on I-95 in Chesterfield County. Police and people we spoke to think it's an alarming trend indeed. I'm very careful, very observant. Cheryl Harris has seen Why some road rage so just walking on Willis Road. They'll cuss at people, actually slam on brakes. But she only heard about what happened near here on the big road that goes over it. Yeah, a neighbor of mine told me about it yesterday. They just said that they had heard that somebody got shot on the interstate on 95. That interstate shooting happened a little before 4 a.m. Thursday on 95 between Bells Road and Willis Road. State police say the driver was shot through the driver's side window. Life-threatening injuries were the result of what sources tell CBSX was likely a targeted shooting. They need help, number one, but what scares me the most, if he was trying to, if he shot, he could have wrecked. There's so many other people on the road, somebody else could have got hurt. It's a becoming a trend, it seems like to me. State police say that's true in the Hampton Roads area. There have been 18 interstate shootings so far this year in that region. Locally, the number is not that high, but we've reported on several interstate shootings in the Richmond region over the past year or so. With the virus being everything messed up for so long, and I don't know if it's just they feel like they don't have anything better to do or what it is, but they need to be taken off the streets for sure. Police say the vast majority of interstate shootings are not random, either a targeted act or a road rage gone horribly wrong. It's also 100% true that every single one is extremely dangerous for everyone on the road nearby. It's scary to think that he has a driver's license. For Harris, this latest interstate shooting near her home shows why reacting with anger on the roads might not be the best idea. If you're mad, you need to back off and just, because you never know if somebody's like that. Defensive driving is one technique police suggest on the front end of things. They also suggest installing a dash cam to capture any evidence if you find yourself in this horrible situation.